you were a favorite animal. He was a bird. Not literally, but you two were close to actually being them. And for that, you were best friends. And you even had a friend group called the Furries. You tried to get Bakugo to join because he looked like a hedgehog, but that failed. But anyway, back to you and Tokoyami. You paired up during the sports festival and practically been through everything together. You two even had periods where you, where you went antisocial and wouldn't come out of your rooms. Now was one of those times. When Muriko and Hots had a team up during your internships, all of you went up against the villain who claimed them, who claimed they had a perfecting quirk. When in all honesty, they could really just change the appearance of other quirks. The pro heroes weren't affected by it that much because they still looked pretty human, but it did a number on you and Toko Bird. They acted like nothing happened afterwards, so you believed nothing had happened. But when you woke up the next morning, you both had realized something had actually happened. You screamed when you saw yourself in the mirror, and so did Tokoyami. You heard him from all the way across the dorms, and you were pretty sure he heard you too. You had a face, without any fur on it. You also had hair color hair with a big white tuft of hair in the front to represent your animal extension, and random white highlights throughout your hair too. And, you, and your teeth look like Kirishima's. Oh hell nah, I am not going to class today. Not dealing with this shit. You thought as you locked the door, turned off all sources of light, and went back to bed. Tokoyami, on the other hand, was very much freaking out. He didn't have a beak or a face full of feathers. He still had his neck that he was used to, but it felt different. Oh gods, what will- He was- his thought was cut off by a dark shadow. Heyo, what- He got himself off. They just stood there for another second. And another second. And then Dark Shadow screamed, loud, like present Mike. He was pretty sure the whole damn dorm and the next building over was wide awake now. Hey, I just got hit by with a quirk, Tokiyami explained. Well, at least it sounded the same. It had been a week and neither of you had come out of your rooms for anything. Mostly because you didn't want people to see you. But Momo, Midoriya, and practically the whole class got Mr. Aizawa to get you two out. You both have until tonight to get out of there or I'm expelling you. What's his deal? You decided to text Sue to see if you should come out. And of course she said yes. They wouldn't hate you two or anything, it'll just some, take some time to getting used to. You whined and rolled over for at least half an hour trying to decide whether to die and never have to and never have to be seen again, or suck it up and go outside. You figured going out would be better for you and everyone else. Or because you were starving to death. The two of you stayed in your rooms until 7 or 8 at night. You were the first one to make your face known. Oh my god, you look so pretty! All the girls said and you pulled the Tamaki. Kiri knew what exactly to do because he was with the actual Tamaki almost 24-7. Eventually, he coaxed you out of it, and we're now talking nervously to the others. Tokoyami was about to show himself, but the first thing he saw was you. 
He, he took in your new features and blushed really hard. He immediately went back to the staircase and turned his back to the wall. I... What the... He kept stuttering until Dark Shadow had to come out. What are you doing? He asked. I can't go out there when... He stopped and blushed again and then groaned. When Wander is out there... Dark Shadow went to therapist mode. Yeah. Look, if I could push you, I would. And also, you're gonna have to show yourself at some point, so why not just get it over with now and internally dive it inside later? He said and got Toko off guard. Damn it, he was right. But Toko still wasn't, wouldn't budge. Ugh, fine, making me do all the work. Dark Shadow said as he attempted to push his person into the living room. Of course Toko resisted, but Dark Shadow was able to push was able to push him to you. Fair. He yelled. You and Tokoyami were practically right against each other before he took a step back. The boys were about to yell something but then realized the situation. So they just kept quiet and watched. Um, hi. Takayami was cut off again by Dark Shadow. Now kiss. Excuse me, what? Even Tokoyami yelled back. Oh yeah, that's kinda much. Cuddle! <laughs> Dark Shadow muttered, then yelled again. No. Toko said. Hug? He tried and you laughed. The blush got him again. Fine. He smiled, then hugged you. And sure, you hugged him back, and you didn't realize, but you felt like you could breathe again. Dark Shadow came out and hugged the two of you, too. And he just stood there for about five minutes. Dark Shadow eventually got bored and then went away. Everyone else smiled and went back to the, what they were doing. I guess I can't call you Bird Brain anymore. You muttered. But I guess I can call you Tiger now. Toko shot back smirking. Ah, shut it. You laughed. All right, love birds, get a room. Mina said with a smirk. Mina, I swear to God. You growled, but she laughed. Fine, fine. But seriously, you two gonna stand there all night? She said with her hands on her hips. No. You both said the letty go. Then let each other go. But... Are you gonna kiss? Dark Shadow came out with a pretty honest question. Tokoyami blushed hard again, and you laughed at the both of them. Will you stop it with that? He yelled as he tried to push Dark Shadow away.